When you hear the name Zimbabwe, what comes to your mind? Is it about the famous reign of the late President Mugabe? Is it about the mighty Wanda Victoria Falls, a world tourist destination? The smoke that thunders. Or is it about Tino Sparks, a young Zimbabwean lady ready to change the narrative of Africa, specifically Southern Africa, through YouTube videos? Africa is beautiful, and today we are in Zimbabwe, home to the oldest city in Southern Africa, the Great Zimbabwe. And where does Zimbabwe derive its name from? Let's find out. So subscribe if you haven't, turn on post notifications so you can get notified every time I post a new video for you guys. Enjoy the video. the great Zimbabwe this is how it looks like so I'm about to do a tour of the great enclosure are you guys excited because I am super duper excited let's do this great Zimbabwe is an ancient medieval city in which Zimbabwe derived its name from Zimbabwe is derived from Chishona Zimbabwe or Zimba Zimbabwe, which means house of stone. Built only on granite rocks, the most common rock in Zimbabwe, Great Zimbabwe's architectural design is impressive. It is a testimony of civilization in an African way, which over the years has preserved Zimbabwe's culture and heritage. Headed to the hill complex that's literally uphill, so yes, we are mountain hiking. Let me tell you. You can't be unfit and come to Great Zimbabwe. It is tiring. Because, <gasps> like, we're actually going up the mountain. Use the bathroom? Yeah. You like to travel? I travel, don't mess around. So this is the great enclosure. Mm. Yeah, so because at the base of the wall it's like five to six meters width. And then on top is two to three meters width. Mm. Yes. So you cannot see what is taking place uh, at the center of the wall. Okay. So now we are entering to King's Palace. You have to show respect by bow down your head like this. If you don't want to bow down your head, you are going to see the consequent part of it. <laughs> In short, I can say, mind your head. Yes. <laughs> okay. Right here, we are by the Zundera Mambo. So in Shona tradition, the Zunira Mambo is the king's place. So usually in the Great Zimbabwe, the king used to sit by a huge stone where you can see my friend up here. And then by this stone, the king would actually rule and reign at the highest point of the kingdom. Welcome to Zimba Zimbabwe. In terms of hunting ceremony, these people, they believe that if somebody going for a hunting and killed by an animal, it's bad luck which was caused by the anger of ancestors. So before they went for hunting, they have to come here to pacify or to appease their ancestors, to seek guidance and protection because they used to hunt bigger games like Big Five for ivory, animal skins and also meat. And, and the king used to stay, to, to, stay, to stay on top of that horizontal boulder while he's addressing his colleagues inside the church. 
in terms of religion, these people, they believe to the most high God married through ancestors. If you need favor from God, you have to consult ancestors. Hello guys, we are by the Shona village. I'm pretty much excited because I'm going to be sharing with you how the Shona village was like back in the days. You guys are just going to see that the Zimbabwean people back in the day were craftsmen. These guys were making baskets. You just saw soup stones earlier. I mean, I'm impressed. <laughs> Traditional music and dance play a huge part in the history of Zimbabwe. To them, singing and dance was a way to celebrate and appease the ancestors. Zimbabwe has a unique history and I hope you enjoyed learning about the Zimbabwe Zimbabwe. Which part of the video was your favorite? Drop a comment and let me know. In my next video, I'm going to give you an exclusive tour of the Shona village. So stay tuned, subscribe if you haven't and give this video a huge thumbs up. Turn on post notifications so that you get notified the next time I post a new video. On another note, Zimbabwe is not what the media shows. Stay tuned to experience my beautiful Zimbabwe through my lens. Zimbabwe is indeed open for tourism and Great Zimbabwe welcomes you all.